If you've ever inherited a messy workbook or a valuation model so big, you don't know where to start. You'd know how time consuming it is to understand it. Index claims to eliminate the drudgery. It can understand your workbook like a financial analyst, find hidden errors, extract PDFs into formulas, and even build complete financial models from scratch or from within Excel. That sounded bold to me. So I put it through four practical tests to see what it can really do. Quick disclosure before we jump in. This video is made in collaboration with the index. Now, if you know me, you know I've never done this kind of video before. It's not for lack of requests. I get at least one a week. It's because I've never found a tool that genuinely aligns with my audience and offers something we can't already do in Excel. And that's why I said yes to this one. So buckle up, this is going to be interesting. You install index from the home tab under add-ins. And once it's loaded, it opens as a task pane inside Excel. Right away, we can see some differences to Copilot, including the ability to refer to historical chats, personalization options, keyboard shortcuts, and more. For the first test, let's see how it handles PDF extraction. PDFs are always a headache in Excel. Most extractors just give you text pasted into cells, meaning you still need to clean it, validate it, and re-enter formulas, not index. Let's take a look. I want to extract the data from this multi-page PDF. Click the paperclip icon and load the invoice to index. I'll simply ask it to extract the data from the PDF invoice and place it in a tabular layout with all relevant information and formulas ready for analysis. A few minutes later, we now have the invoice in an Excel file. And if we look at the total column, you can see it contains formulas multiplying the quantity and unit price. And if we go down and look at the subtotal and total due cells, you can see they also contain formulas. Which means if I make any changes, everything updates as you'd expect. Not that I probably would in this example, but it could be useful for other PDFs you import. Plus, Index has gone the extra mile with a professional layout and formatting that I didn't even specify in my prompt. By the way, you can also use Index to automatically transfer data to Excel from images and PowerPoint presentations. The next test is workbook understanding. This is the feature Index says sets them apart because instead of describing what's in your workbook, it aims to analyze it like a real financial analyst would. For this test, I loaded this visa forecast model, nearly 270 rows of historicals, drivers and projections, and I asked Index a simple question. Explain the key takeaways from this model and highlight any risks. Here's what it found. The first thing Index did was summarize the revenue picture. It picked up that Visa's net revenue grows from about 23 billion in 2019 to just over 51 billion by 2028, a 122% increase. It also recognized the COVID dip in 2020 and the strong recovery in 21 and 22. And that's already helpful. It's not just reading numbers, it's interpreting the story. And this text in green is a link to the relevant section, so you can jump straight to it and take a closer look. Then it broke down the revenue mix. Service revenues almost double and a half over the period. International transaction revenues almost triple, and data processing revenues see steady compound annual growth. It also picked up a shift in geographical mix with international revenue moving from 55 to 58%, while the US share declines slightly even though dollar revenue still grows. These are meaningful trends you'd normally surface in a proper model review. But the most valuable part is the risk analysis. Right at the top, Index found two major technical errors, 20 different ref errors and 16 num errors. And because Index gives you exact rows and columns, you know exactly where the issues are. Beyond the errors, Index flagged a few assumption risks. The model relies on very aggressive international growth, service revenues may be overly optimistic, and data processing is highly exposed to any slowdown in transaction volumes. It also noted US payment volumes flatten out, meaning the forecast leans heavily on international markets. And the geographic breakdown doesn't fully reconcile. And finally, the model stops at revenue. There are no expense or profitability forecasts, so it's not yet suitable for valuation or investment decisions. And to wrap up, Index listed a clear set of recommended actions. Fix the formula errors, reconcile the US international split, stress test lower international growth, and operating expenses and profit projections. Document inputs for auditability. 
What I liked here is that Index actually reviewed the model. It highlighted the growth story, surfaced potential over optimism, found broken formulas, and suggested the next steps you take to make the workbook investment grade. And again, this came from a single sentence prompt. Pretty incredible. Okay, for the third test, I wanted to see how Index handles something we all deal with, cleaning up a messy sheet. I've intentionally created a pretty rough looking sheet here. Different fonts, inconsistent spacing, hard-coded totals, no visual hierarchy. It's basically the kind of thing you might receive from a colleague at 4.55 p.m. on a Friday. Let's give it a simple prompt. Please reformat to an industry professional standard. And this is the result. First, it rebuilt the layout. So everything starts neatly at the top, removed grid lines, added spacing, and instantly made the sheet feel organized. It applied a professional header style, created clear section headings, and used the industry standard color coding, blue for hard-coded inputs and black for formulas, which I love because it makes the whole sheet easier to work with. It fixed all the number formats, added borders, totals, cleaned up alignment, and gave the sheet a clear visual hierarchy. And importantly, it replaced every hard-coded total with actual formulas, so the whole sheet is now dynamic and error-free. It's not flashy, it just looks clean, consistent, and ready for a stakeholder. This usually takes 10 to 15 minutes. Endex did it in seconds. For the final test, I wanted to see how Endex handles something more advanced, building a financial model from scratch. So I asked it to build a valuation model for Meta, and here's what it produced. Endex created a complete three-sheet DCF model with an assumption sheet, with a full income statement with five-year projections, and a DCF valuation that ties everything together. On the assumption sheet, it pulled in all the key inputs you'd expect, and everything's color-coded the way a finance team would do it. For the income statement, it imported three years of historical data, and then projected revenue margins, EBITDA, and net income out to 2029, using the data on this assumption sheet. It then built a full DCF, EBITDA, EBIT, NOPAT, free cash flow, present value, terminal value, enterprise value, implied share price. The whole model flows correctly from assumptions through to valuation with no hard-coded totals. Now you'd obviously want to review the assumptions and tailor them to your own view of the business. But as a starting point, this is surprisingly comprehensive. It's structured, formatted, auditable, and ready for sensitivity analysis. It's a full financial model generated by Index inside Excel. By the way, if you're wondering how Index compares to Copilot agents, Copilot agents help you work across Microsoft 365. Index is purpose-built for Excel models, understanding them, checking them, creating them from scratch, and turning PDFs and images into dynamic spreadsheets. And it's not limited to one or two LLMs. It uses the best one for the task you give it, enabling it to easily handle complex or messy workbooks with ease. In other words, Endex specializes where Copilot generalizes. If you want to try Endex, I've put a link below the video along with a code to get 25% off for your first year. I'd love to hear what you think. Is there a use case you want me to test next? Let me know in the comments. I read them all.